means it's a special place for any pro skier or snowboarder because eventually you will come here. It's on everybody's hit list and at some time or another you're, you're going to pass through Haynes if, if you're serious about the sport. There's no place like it. Haynes is a cool little town. Never been here before, so I was pretty excited to come out here for the first time and experience it. Can't really prepare yourself for that type of scenario and that type of terrain, but you know you, you expect big things, and when you arrive here, you are delivered big things. Having confidence in your skiing ability and you know stepping up to the biggest, most badass line possible that. They're not, they don't really go hand in hand. You need to make sure you're experienced and well aware of the actual scale of things because these huge peaks, you get a good distance away, they look pretty small. And you know, you're viewing your whole line from a distance, you're like, oh yeah, it's no problem. And you get up there and you realize that that little spine on top is as big as your whole home mountain, you know? <laughs> Andy's, you know, he's a really unique skier. You know, he comes from this racing pedigrees, you know, the Mara Brothers, to the most successful ski racers in U.S. history. Uh, that pedigree of, of a racing background, but he's all about free ride and, and putting his own style into riding big mountains. And so for him to, to go to Alaska, that was, um, that was really cool to watch him figure it out kind of rolling with the punches and taking it as it comes and then when it comes time to actually throw down he uh, he's all business and he gets it done. Yeah.